the fans on in the background. <clears throat> it's 106 degrees out, and uh, so there's no point in going out of the house. I decided I would stay home and start my thank you project. Heath had this great idea that several vloggers would all do a week of saying thank you to people. And I thought about this a lot. Um, uh, since, since I have an online journal, the address for which is somewhere around here, uh, I've, I've been keeping it for six years, and over the six years I've said thank you to a lot of people. I've said thank you to my husband, I've said thank you to my mother, I've said thank you to my children. <clears throat> I think I've said thank you to my children. So I don't want to do that. Um, I saw Heath's first video, and I saw that he uh, thanked Cheryl Bryant, Sharon Bryant, I'm sorry, for, for the help that she gave him in getting started. Now, I could thank Michael Verdi, I could thank Mike Huddock, because both of them have, have done a lot toward helping me understand what's going on with vlogging, um, toward getting my movies in shape, posting them on Blip. Uh, there are probably a lot of people in the vlogging community. I could thank the organizers of VloggerCon for helping me to find a way to get to VloggerCon because I really enjoyed it. But I don't really have a close relationship with anybody in the vlogging community except possibly Linda and Ms. Behavens. <clears throat> so I didn't want to do that. I figure other people will do a better job of thanking vloggers. What I'd like to do is to thank people that I wouldn't normally think about. I read, recently, I read The Five People You Meet in Heaven, and that's a book which talks about a guy who dies, and he goes to heaven, and he goes through stages before he gets to his final glory, or wherever he's going. And these are people who had a significant impact on his life. One person was somebody, he, a couple of people were people he'd never met before. He had no idea that how they had impacted his life, but they had, and they kind of helped him make sense of his life. So I thought of people that have had an impact on my life in one way or another, and I decided that I'm going to thank them. So that's what this week is going to be about. Um, I'm not going to thank anybody in this first video, <clears throat> because this is just an explanation of what I plan to do. But over the coming five to seven days, I'm not sure whether it's going to be five or seven, uh, I hope to thank some people who have made an impact or a difference or had some sort of a uh, what? An overwhelming effect on my life. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, some people I have video of, some people I don't have video of. So it's going to be kind of a challenge for me to see how I can put something together. And uh, some people I think maybe you'll be surprised at who I think. So until tomorrow, this is my introduction for what I'm going to do for Thank You Week. And a big thank you to Heath for coming up with the idea in the first place. And if anybody figures out a way to turn it from 106 down to 80, you'll get the biggest thanks of all.